How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. Last time we completed the second dungeon of the game, The Cave of Flames, and we ended up going back to Malari's Mines, and we received our upgraded sword. However, we can do some more upgrades to the sword thanks to knowledge from Malari, who said if we made our way back to Hyrule Castle, we could actually upgrade the sword by fusing it with elements that we've obtained prior. Are you sure I look alright? I never know what to wear to formal occasions. Aslo, you're... you're alright. Green's your color, buddy. I'll just leave it at that. Anyway, what we want to do is we need to head over here to the left staircase to go down the stairs. I don't know, staircases, ladders. It's really weird. Anyway, head north up here and enter this quaint place. Link, look! See how the doorway glows? Could that be the door that leads to the sanctuary? Nobody in the castle seems able to see it, but you and me. Let's go, quickly. So, this is the Elemental Sanctuary, then. This is where we can infuse your blade with the power of the elements. Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle there. The powers of the earth and fire elements have been infused in our blade. <laughs> Let's see if I can't read that tablet for you. Fill your sword with power and walk over the glowing tile. Hmm. Perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Link! Whoa! You just split in two! So this is the power of the White Sword! I guess you can double yourself like at that any time you see those panels. Yes. So, now that we've infused our blade, sorry if I was being a little quiet there. It's a pretty heavy cutscene area moment that I wanted to just be a little quiet for. So, now that we have infused our blade with the two elements of earth and fire, we can now clone ourselves and we can exit the elemental sanctuary. Also, you can cancel this by pressing L or R at any time. So, now that we've done that, let's continue our quest and search out for some more interesting stuff. However, we gotta completely exit the castle now, which is a bit of a bummer, but hey, it is what it is. Yay, backtracking, am I right? Alright, so let's head down here. Yeah, the st the, they're technically stairs. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's whatever. Anyway, let's exit. <laughs> Interesting. You're the last person I expected to find here. And just as I was wondering who could be behind this, I find my old master. Vart 
empty. <laughs> and as always, you are dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. My curses are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what power you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. I should never have created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Fool. A hat that grants the wishes of its wearer is a spectacular creation. Thanks to you, I have gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to the greatest sorcerer alive. You cannot stop me now, and I have you to thank for it. Except the small gesture of gratitude from me. Wait, Vati! Wait! So, Ezlo and Vati know each other. Apparently, Vati was training under Ezlo, so does that mean Ezlo is a. Uh, Minish? That foul Vati! Oh, what could he be scheming now? Link? I feel I owe you an explanation of what has happened. You see, Vati and I are both Minish. I was once a famous sage and a renowned Minish craftsman. Vati was only a boy when I took him on as my apprentice. But he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men. One day, Vati took a hat I made for the humans, my pride and joy. It granted the wishes of its wearer. He put it on without permission. Vati, what are you doing there? Oh, what a vile form you've taken! <laughs> vile? I am a sorcerer now, and my power is beyond compare. No longer will I tire away as your apprentice. Now, all shall call me master. Why, Vati? What are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens. And when it does, I shall claim the White Force as my own. I will be transformed, perfect, and there will be none who can stop me. How does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? Do you see, Yeslo? I am truly your master now, and you cannot stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. You know the legends, of course. The gifts the Pakori gave to humans. What you call the Pakori Blade was the first of those gifts. The second, well, you call it Light Force, but it is a source of limitless magical power. If Vati were to get it now, it would be devastating. 
I came to the world of men, hoping to stop Vati, and I met you in the woods. But it seems we won't be breaking the curse on me any time soon. However, with the Sacred Blade, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry. All that has happened has been due to my own pride. My folly. I must rely on you, on your power, until we've put an end to Vati. Well, Link, enough fairy tales. We must search for the next element. And now we have some backstory on not only Ezlo, but Vati as well. Anyway, that isn't quite the end of this episode because there really, it was only like a 10 minute episode so far. It's only been 10 minutes, so we might as well keep going. I know I like doing shorter episodes every once in a while, but not this short. Anyway, let's return to the Trilby Highlands because I can't go over there, can I? No. Okay, we're going to go down this way. And I'm going to destroy the Keton just to see if it drops anything. Anything? No? Okay. So, walk across the bridge and head down the stairs. I think I need to go here if my notes are correct. Yes. Remember this area? This is where we got the empty bottle from the business scrub. So, now that we've infused our blade, and we can clone ourselves, essentially, or split ourselves into two, let's go ahead and do that here. And we're gonna wanna push this big block all the way down. We can get rid of our clone self for now. Head up the stairs, and well, arrive to some blue Octoroks. No, but the thing we want to do is we want to blow up this wall. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, hello, Moblin. Oh, you're a pretty hefty fellow. Uh, let me take care of you. There we go. Anything? Ooh, 20 rubies that I can't use because of... Because <sighs> of the big wallet only being 500 max. Oh, hello. Lots and lots of keys. I'm going to ignore you. Ooh, thank you for the five bombs. I gladly appreciate it. Can you drop five bombs? Because I could use a... Refill? No, okay, thanks. Anyway, inside this treasure chest is a red kinstone piece. Yeah, another one of those bad boys. The very, very rare kinstone pieces. Anyway, speaking of kinstone pieces, can I quickly find a green one in here maybe? No, I should probably stop messing about. Let's head inside this little hut right here and say hello to this guy. Hello, I am Percy, Pomit Laureate of Hyrule. And you are Link? Oh no, no, the pleasure is mine. I travel all over the realm, writing verse wherever I go. But here I am, returning after a long absence only to find the road blocked. It wouldn't feel like such a waste if I hadn't lost half my kinstone. What mis when misfortune rains down upon my head, it pours in torrents. I think I may have dropped it in the inn I stayed at last night. I see no other course than to put these tragic events to verse. I see stars beyond the rainbow, but I cannot reach them. Through the stone I lost a small, large was its place in my heart. Yeah, just keep that in mind that there's a kinstone in the inn. Anyway, I do think there is a bombable wall somewhere that I can do other than the one... Ah, yes, this must be it. Uh, oh, my bombs are already equipped. Hang on, no, 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 let's not switch the stuff when I don't need it to be. This should be a bomb... Yeah, okay, there we go. The two rocks is your indicator. Hey, fairies, thank you. I actually needed a full heart refill. I still have that one fairy in a bottle from Mount Crennel, so I don't really need that. Anyway, I'm going to quickly push that boulder into that opening just for quick access through the Trilby Highlands if I need it. And let's head down into the Western Wood. Eh? What a strange feeling. I sense something from the castle's direction. Or was it just me?
Hmm? Who's there? What? Vati? How did you get in here? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. It looks like you're all here. Very well. The King of Hyrule has words for you. You all know of the power the Pakori gave to mankind, do you not? The Golden Light Force of Limitless Magical Power. I want it. It is somewhere here in Hyrule. Go now, and bring me this power. Waste no time. Go forth at once, and bring me the Light Force. Fling anyone who refuses into the dungeon. Him and his family, too. I will tolerate no disobedience. Now, search high and low throughout the lands of Hyrule. Hmm? Maybe it's just the wind, but I hope nothing bad has happened. Anyway, we need to look for the next element. The map says it should be around here somewhere. 